Good evening. I want to thank you for inviting me here to your investment center to consider investing in Torakata traditional karate training tools. My name is Jonathan Cutler. I'm part of the management team. I am the president and customer relations manager. We also have on the management team, although not able to be with us today, Philip Kinney, the chief financial officer and director of manufacturing and logistics, Scott Roberts, marketing and online sales manager, and Steve Roberts, our boots on the ground direct sales manager, runs a dojo that uh, does traditional karate and will be our direct sales manager. Today my presentation is going to focus around this integrated business model. Uh, your role is right here in the organizational plan. You're one of our key partners and we're hoping that today we can convince you to invest in our company. Let's start with our value proposition. Torakata gives traditional martial arts accessible products, affordable price, and absolute quality. These are three things that this market completely lacks. Currently our competition, which we'll talk about in more detail later, operates from Japan. They're not able to give accessible products at an affordable price. Shipping costs are too high. More than that, the quality is very low. We're talking uh, little dowels and cement. This is not good enough quality for our target market. Our mission statement, Torakata provides high quality traditional karate training tools for martial arts instructors and students building relationships with and remaining accessible to their community. Industry analysis. Here we have an outline of the top 10 states that operate dojos from Dojo Locator. Uh, although this market data is not absolutely precise, we think it gives a great estimate of the different dojos in the country, which will be our target market, because we believe that the best way to get into the market is to get into the places where these students are learning and are using these products. California followed by New York, our target market. Steve Roberts, our boots on the ground, operates a dojo in western New York. We'll be starting in Buffalo. These are the traditional, some of the traditional products that you see here. This is a strength stone, two-handed strength stone, iron sandals, iron grip, striking post. These products have been produced for hundreds of years in forms of karate like Goju Ryu. We plan to revamp these because as you can see, the quality is low, very rustic, very if I may call it hardcore, we don't want to lose those attributes. We want to enhance those attributes. Here we have our competitor's location, 10,902 miles from our target market. Here's one of our two main competitors, Sharita USA. As you can see, they claim to have a location in California. However, they actually do not. They are completely unreachable. Very limited website. You would have no idea how to navigate this website and access the products. Okinawa Direct, again, no updates, no knowledge as to whether or not this website is operational. We do know it's an operational company that sells to these dojos. However, we see from all of this an opportunity, an opportunity to break into the market and show new things at an affordable price and higher quality. Venture description. This is us right here in the Buffalo area. We are at most 275 miles from our target customer. Now, we're not limiting ourselves to New York in the future. However, we want to start where our biggest strength is, which is where Steve Roberts Dojo is located. Our production plan, we have actually partnered with two uh, manufacturing operations in Western New York and Western PA. One, a ceramics operation called Petro Mold Company, and the other, Quick Parts, Metal Injection Molding Company. Our products, as you will see right here, replace our competitor's limited product with a more streamlined design, a better quality, more ergonomic handles. We'll be using our two partnerships to provide the product that doesn't lose the traditional aspects, but enhances it. We're using steel. We're using nice wooden dowels. No longer will we be using uh, cheap products with uh, concrete molding or anything like that. We will be using streamlined products that maintain the core competencies of the original products while also enhancing for workout ability and higher safety. And these, uh, these have actually been mocked up on CAD. We had an engineer do all the designs. They're fully ready to send to the manufacturing uh, companies, and they can produce these products with a range of 1,600 to 2,100 per product, get those drop shipped out to us. Our operations plan. We're going to network with not only our manufacturing operations, but with our, our home location in Buffalo, New York, to send these out. We're using two different methods. One would be online sales. The other would be direct sales. We've incorporated into our startup costs 
the cost of a van and transportation with that van to sell to dojos. Our marketing plan, this is our biggest selling point right here. Startup Dojo. You want five of each of these standard, currently available products that our, that our competitors provide. It's going to cost you $6,780 from Okinawa Direct. It's going to cost you $2,925 from Torakata. Talk about a great value proposition. Less than half the cost. Here are the products actually compared. You can see more details in the plan. However, the point is that we'll be providing a full product line rather than dojos having to make their own full products. Four of those we've already shown to you. The engineer has already done all of the drafts on that. can be sent right out. More details in the plan. In addition to our direct sales, we're going to use online sales as a major component. You'll see an example of our startup website. We want to highlight here that we're using social media to target not only the old traditional crowd, but the new traditional crowd. Karate and fitness in general are both growing, and we want to make sure we don't lose that trend. We want to ride that trend. Assessment of risks. Torakata has a few major risks, the biggest of which being we are breaking into a traditional market with a revamped product. Now, let me reiterate, we have not lost any of the traditional aspects of these products. However, people are hesitant. Despite the price difference, $300 for a strength stone from Japan, $80 for a strength stone from Torakata. despite that price difference, we know that our, our consumers will be hesitant to buy into something that isn't actually manufactured in Japan. For that reason, we need to be extremely accessible. Our service needs to be excellent and our quality needs to be top of the line. Another major risk is the fact that this is traditional karate. We need to expand beyond just traditional karate, get these products to catch on mainstream. We are confident we'll be able to do that, and within five years, as you'll see from my financial plan, we project great sales growth up to a million eighty in sales in year five, with 541 cost of goods sold, about 50% cost of goods sold. Here's our pro forma snapshot. We have here our sales growing at an increasing rate, break even at year three, confident that when we go to look at extra strategy with you, our financial partners, by year five we should be able to leverage this idea into a bigger thing. Our organizational plan. This is where we need to partner with you. We're going to start as an LLC. We think this is the best way. Uh, we can limit our liability, limit our taxation. Great way to start in the market. We are looking for an investment from you of $150,000 today. Now this is not to the level of some ventures but we recognize that this is still a serious amount of money and we want to make sure that you are confident that we will be successful in this market. You can see our integrated plan. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us or ask for more details. And we hope with your partnership, we can make Torakata a success.